everybody. We're going to do our cool chess stream here. We may not have 2,000 viewers, but it's a better site, a better streamer, and just a cool atmosphere. We're going to be playing uh, 30 plus 30, and that's the time control for the simul. We're going to be playing 22, 23 players approximately, as, as is the usual modus operandi with this time control. And I'd just like to thank everybody for joining me. Um, not going to talk too much about random stuff. It's a tough event for me to do um, this faster time control 3030. Creating simul. Uh, here we go, guys. So welcome, everybody, all of our regular subscribers and, and random viewers. Will you take off my watch as Kasparov would do every game? Well, the one time I did that, Blue Eyed Albino, you see, we got it right here. The one time I did that, you see, the problem was that I, I, you are referring to the story I told about, right? You know about my story with the watch. How I made my first I Am Norm in Melbourne, and the tournament was in the bank lobby. And when I took off my watch, which was a really nice tag hoyer, um, I put it down, and, and I think my opponents stole it, but the cameras weren't working, so um, there was no way to actually prove who in this very limited amount of people stole my watch. But I ended up making my first I Am Norm and finding 100 Euro Australian dollars on the ground as a compensation. Anyway, all right, let's get, get started. We've got um, Acerbate. We're going to take all the subscribers first. Acerbate, Artie, Blue-Eyed Albino. Um, all right, who else? Lalo, I think, is a subscriber. Merle Dixon. Um, Parmenides. Last time we weren't sure, but now we're sure. Slaggy Fan. A. Morales. Um, Take Back. Nefidov. Nefidov is running for, for office. Moderator. No, I'm just kidding. He's too strict to be a moderator. 11 subscribers. Merle Dixon supports the stream. Guys, let's start a bit more today. We have... Um, is that a Rolex? This? No. No, it's just a Raymond Weil. It's not really that expensive. Um, after my Tag Heuer loss, I decided not to buy $1,000 watches anymore. Hey, Alex Sia, what's up? JCS, thanks for being our moderator while Soltigo is, is rehabbing as well, like my mom. Um, all right, so we've got 11... S4 is here. I don't know if he's still a subscriber, but he's been a huge supporter of the stream. Good to see you, S4. Um, I'm going to throw you in there, subscriber or not. Yeah, I, I mean, the Casio is cool. Very popular in Hungary. Um, all right, let's see. What are we doing here? 14, 14 players, a 14 candidate, and 12 accepted players. Um, so... What about $1,000 books? Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I hope I have some that are worth 1000 Maybe an autographed copy of Portish. No, I don't think I have anything that uh, is worth more than $100. Um, I want to become a professional slots player. Yeah, I've known people who were professional video poker players. Kind of scary. Um... Yeah, Nefedov has no connection to the Russian election meddling. Uh, no connection at all to Ukraine. Um, someone is selling 21k books on eBay. Uh huh. Right. There are there. Are, yeah, they'll sell you anything. Um, do you put ch Chinese writing on your screen? Did you put Chinese writing on your screen? We had help from Soltigo designing this new overlay. So I hope you guys like it. It looks a little cleaner than the old one. Um. We're going to get some more players in here, but I just want to make sure the the stream looks good and the audio is good and everything's cool. Someone said, someone sold a book about Satanism for like $2,000. Yeah, you need a unique topic, I think, for that. All right. I think Dimitri we didn't take last time. If anybody didn't get accepted last time, um, let me know as soon as possible. If I neglected someone last time, Salty goes here. So if I neglected somebody last time, one of the non-subscribers who, uh, who I promised, hey, you can play this time, um, you know, let me know now. Say, hey, you, you didn't let me in last time, the last two times, whatever. 
Yeah, we're going to do a bidding war, basically. We're going to do a bit war to see who the next players accepted into the simul are. No, I'm just kidding. We don't pay entries. Um, I just kind of randomly take people. Um, no, I quit drinking for good. Roy Lopez. Now I drink for evil. No, um, you know, it's just a stupid saying. Like, when you quit doing something for good in English, it's like you quit doing it forever. I had this funny coaster that says that. Now I only drink for evil. Um, all right. Cash Maui added 100 bits to the donations. And we had Merle Dixon earlier for 100. So... All right, I've got 16 players. I'm going to be taking seven more. So let's see what we got. Anybody who I neglected last time? Candela, I wanted to play you last time, but I had to leave. Would be nice. All right, we'll let Candela play. Um, he couldn't play last time. Who else was neglected last time? Let's say. Cash Maui just donated. Paid his way into the simul. No, he's all. You know, he's often donated 100 bits to the stream. Um, did I let Natalie Louise in? All right, I did. Pichu. Haven't seen you in a while. So we're down to four more players. I'd like to know if anybody else is a subscriber that I haven't added to the stream. Uh, Simul, sorry. The house, the. Just about to get started, guys. I study fascinating things, but witchcraft is not among... Well, there doesn't have to be evil witchcraft. There's like, you know... The, the, the good witch of the... What is it? The good witch of the south or something? I don't remember. Forgot my Wizard of Oz. 10k bits give a win, people. Hey, where's Romy? Because he donated 10k bits, and that's exactly what happened. I, like, dropped my queen against him. He's extremely low rated, like 1,300. I just dropped the queen when he donated um, 10,000 bits, but it was an absolute coincidence. Felt really embarrassed about that. Um, hey, sorry for the slacking. Nice to be here again. Nice to see you. So, Pichu, only a follower. Um, let's start a bits war. Also, Saji, whenever you have a minute, go to OBS and drag your video file below the overlay. Um, Soltigo, I don't understand what you're talking about. Before we get the simul started, I want to get this clear. Soltigo, what are you, you talking about? Let me see. What are you talking about, man? Soltigo, what do you mean by grab my video file and move it down? Like, I thought it looked all right. I'm only got I've only got room for 23 players, guys. I'm waiting to hear from Soltigo before I get this thing off the ground. I think I didn't play James last time. Um, <sighs> Svi, no talent, Ivaya. <laughs> 2300 in bullet. What? Oh my god. Um, Nefidov says Soltigo. Okay, no problems. Infinite flash chess. Me too, me will, me play chess. What video? Um, Soltigo, oh, uh, Nils is here as well. So we got some late subscribers. Infinite Flash, are you playing? Infinite Flash, are you playing? I come in peace. Anyway, guys, good luck. Um, I'm going to take anybody who I can. Who isn't a troll here? Infinite Flash says, are you in the list? Because you are a subscriber, I feel an obligation to accept you, but if you're not on the list, I can't accept you. We only have room for like two more players. Um, at the bottom, there are all the files of what is in your OBS. You want to click, drag that file and move it down below the overlay file. Um, but which file are we talking about? The Windows? Hey, Turkey Farm's not a sub. Why not? Wait, Soltigo, I'm having trouble scrolling up. The window one. I don't know why I can't. I can cannot scroll in the chat. Um, the 
the window capture, drag it below. Hold on a second. We're, we're doing some last minute editing here. Um, mm -hmm. So window capture, drag it below the overlay. But my, my window capture is below the overlay. Soltigo. Can you guys see the stream okay? If there's a sub who did not play, I can give my place in the simul. Um. Video. Video capture under, okay. Yeah, great. Now I can't see it. So, Tico, I'm not sure what you want me to do because if I drag the video down, I can't see my. We can't see my camera. Can we just start? Yeah, we're just gonna start. Um. I don't know what Soltigo is trying to do. Um, never mind. We can go over another day. Yeah, absolutely. Not live. I'm using my <laughs> use my invisible cloak. Exactly, guys. Um, we're gonna get started here. I've got room for two more players. Last call for subscribers. Is there anybody out there who's a subscriber? Um, I don't see any other subscribers. All right, I come in peace. All right, we'll take I come in peace. And who else? Who else? I come in peace was asking to play. Shaquille O'Neal. All right, guys, I got room for like one more player. We're gonna get started. I don't want to wait forever. Guy's too high rated. That scares me. And <laughs> he's like 2300. No. Um, all right. Who are we going to take? Shaquille O'Neal. He's got a new account. I like to see at least 100 games. Shaquille's pretty new. Um, yeah, I'll just accept everyone. We'll take Shaquille O'Neal. All right, whatever. So that's 23 players. Starting Simul. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I'm looking forward to my opinion on the first two games in the world. Okay. There's only one thing I want to say about the first game. In the World Championship, why would Caruana play the Rosalimo with the white pieces against Carlson? It's the dumbest decision I could really possibly think of. The Rosalimo is a purely strategic system, and uh, he's playing to Carlson's strengths, I think, doing that. It's, it was a very, very bad choice. Caruana is extremely lucky not to be minus one from the first game. Obviously, he was lost, um, but, you know, Magnus just didn't you know play that well so he didn't win second game um everybody's like wow you know caruana he had him you know he had a good chance he was up upon if you read like the guardian or some kind of you know run of the bill i don't know layman's commentary a newspaper for example caruana has has taken a pawn and across the music i mean honestly like i don't think that caruana had any really serious winning chances yes he was better but I think he always had it under control. He made a small mistake. He was never... In, I'm not just trying to put a spin on it because I think Carlson's the better player. I predicted he would win. Um, I think the truth is, the first game, obviously he should have won. Um, and then the second game, he never was like over the edge. He did make a mistake in the opening and he was on the defensive. But that's like pretty standard. Carlson drawing a pawn down in a rook ending. Never seriously in any real danger there. So... Um, it's just funny that you know both players with white got a disadvantage, um, but again, I think that you know maybe, I mean maybe the first game, you know we're talking about surprises. They're just trying to surprise each other. Caruana, um, Caruana playing the Roslimo and and uh, 
Carlson playing d4. But Carlson has more flexibility, I think, in his ability to play many different openings. A little more flexibility in that respect. I still think that Carlson's a massive favorite. I can't believe he didn't win a position where he was like plus six. And it wasn't that tactical, really. So, yeah, I think the result is kind of like two draws, pretty typical at this level. But it's been weird. It's been weird. All right. Absolutely a horrendous decision. Horrendous decision by, by Caruana to play the Ross Limo. He should be trying to play as sharp as possible. Um, open Sicilian, he can get, you know, try to get Carlson in a double edge position where it's like a race or it's just very tactical. Um, surprising how Carlson was not precise in game one. He seemed kind of out of it. All right, guys, let's get started. So I can't commentate too much while we are underway here. Um, simul takes a lot of energy and a lot of speed for me, so we're just going to go with the flow here. And not, not going to talk about the World Championship too much because I just don't have time to do so. But, you know, generic questions, I don't mind... I don't mind to answer very general questions if I catch them. Yeah, Rook G3 at that first game, I know. I mean, there were like many points where Carlson was just blatantly winning. And it's it's kind of shocking. But anyways, um, welcome guys to my to my simul stream. Please start a bit war. Zen Chess isn't here. Dim is here. Dim is here. He could overtake Zen Chess for the week. Dim says 100 bits, focus now. All right, focusing, focusing, focusing. Zen Chess and Nils start donating, trying to take the lead for the week. I might start losing my focus, though. All right, James is playing the modern defense. Thanks to the guys who donated here. S4 playing the Smith Mora. Um, we've done this before against Morales. Guys, thank you. I'm sorry I can't let everybody in the simul come in peace. Come in peace. You're welcome. Come in peace seems to be a Madiar. Of course, my my residence in the last 13 years has been mostly in Hungary, but I had to um, I had to move back here temporarily, help out my mom. My mother had a bad fall this week, and uh, she's elderly. And she had to go into rehabilitation for a back injury. So that's why I didn't have the simul on, um, sorry, the stream on Friday. I had to take my mom to uh, rehabilitation. Um, inpatient program. So anyway, Soltigo playing knight f3, b6. That is good. Remember, health is important. Health is number one, right? Um, all right. Yeah, my mother was good physically, but she has um, dementia, and and like if you're 100 percent physically okay, it's not that bad. But if you've got mental mental problem and a physical problem, it becomes a major major disaster. So keep your health. All right, guys. Nils just donated 545 to take the lead. He snuck in front of Zenches by one bit. Leaving Dim in third place. Well, Dim was already... No, Dim was in second place. Now he's in third place. Leaving enough room there. By the way, Nils, thank you. White Sponsors with two bits. Two RIPs. Um, what did I do here? I played D4, G6, C3. Now he plays Knight F6. That's interesting. Why don't more people play that move? Usually the modern defense guys just go Bishop G7. That's funny. I guess I'm supposed to play E4 first, technically. S4. What's this? Queen A5 check or something weird. Doesn't seem right to me, though. I don't care. Nils, thanks so much for the donation. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. I know I'm, I'm always kind of lagging. Thank you for the positive wishes from my mom. Um, yeah, she's the tough lady. She's 
She's quite elderly, but she's done a good job hanging in there. Parmenides donated 500. Parmenides was 500. And Transidot. Transidot, like Transylvania. Transidot donated 200. So we're getting tons of donations, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. I'm usually playing the English against Morales' move order, but I'm a little bored of doing the same thing all the time. Man, Parmenides, that's a great donation. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for being a subscriber. Turkey Farm just subscribed. Turkey Farm resubscribed in honor of all the turkeys that live close to where I'm at. I'm going to play the Widower, even though I don't know it. Um, that isn't getting you to the leaderboard. Dim is on the leaderboard. Dim is in first place with 350 bits. Nils threw in another 100, so we do have bit war in effect. Nils quickly reestablishing himself in first place. I feel like I'm, you know, when I get into this bit war, when we get into one of these bit wars, I feel like I'm uh, I'm like an auctioneer. Do I have 300? Do I hear 300? Do I have 300? 400, 400? Anyone? Do I hear 500? Anybody? <laughs> Maybe that'll be my next job if I really practice. Um, all right. But anyway, super donations, guys. Thank you so much. Parmenides, Transadot, Dim, Nils, now the leader for the week with 1,646. And I've got to keep my concentration and keep it moving along. Merle Dixon with the Slav. Surprise, surprise. So again, I do apologize. I um, would like to pay, but I have not time. Good luck to accept the players. Crew Chess fan, thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm playing the like Kings Indy, and I haven't been playing that lately. Dim with another 100. Reed took the lead, and then Nils immediately. Nils is, is fast to the to the trigger. Um, I wouldn't want to have a gunfight with Nils in in, uh, in in a Western scenario. <laughs> Dim with 100, Nils with 100, Dim with 100, Nils with 100, and Nils still at 1,846 bits for the week. Dim with 1,751. Zenchest in the dust, but thankfully had donated 1,545 this week. You guys are awesome. Um, all right, we're playing with Nefidov in a winnower. I rarely, if ever, play the French at all. So it's enough to keep me distracted. Acerbate, thank you for being a regular subscriber. Acerbate, a tier 3 subscriber. He's done a lot to support the stream as well. Um, here we go. King's Indian attack against Blue Eyes Albino. I can't say Blue Eyed Albino. It's just too hard. If I just say Blue Eyes. Alright. I come in peace. <laughs> I've been like away from Hungary for like a month and already I'm like Forgetting how to speak Hungarian. Um, I'm going to play the Grunfeld against Laloo. For some reason, I always get drunk before watching my stream. It's a good idea. Actually, I always I always play Blackjack really well when I'm drunk for some reason. I rarely play Blackjack. I usually do so because I'm drunk. But I've had good results. Knight takes d5 here. Um, I don't gamble. I just play poker normally. But I have played Blackjack. That's the only casino game I, I really play for fun. Um, speaking of giving away money when you're drunk, <laughs> it popped in my mind. So we have bishop c3, bishop takes c3. It's a weird variation, actually. Nefedov didn't play e5. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this. I don't remember the theory. Where is Bob? That is an interesting point. There is Bob. Okay, s4. What are we going to do with s4? Sharp Sicilian. Okay, guys, i got to move it along a little bit faster. Um, Parmenius move order. There's really nothing better than an English Fianchetto there. And Merle Dixon playing the Super Slav. Super Slav. Pichu the Spanish. I think I lost a game against Pichu in the Spanish. The Rosalimo a la... You know, maybe Caruana can play the Rosalimo against like a 2600. But it's like a bad choice against Carlson. I mean, Carlson is so good strategically. Okay, I come in peace plays this. That's supposed to be a bad move order for Black. We had the same game with Natalie Louise's last time. I have to vary somehow. Cash Maui. All right, so Pichu with B five. Um, I'm playing against the Scotch in one game. So we got some, we got some positions I don't typically play. The the white side I have a Tory attack, a modern reversed. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. 
Turkey Farm said yes to Benoni. Wait. What Benoni are you talking about, man? I don't know any stinking Benoni. <laughs> well, yes. That sounds like Montgomery Burns. Did you resign the bit war? Dim with a hundred. He did not resign the bit war. He's up to eighteen fifty one. Don't tell Nils he's behind now. Queen G four from from Nefidov. Uh oh. I think I have to play Knight of Six. This is some very unusual line. Dim says yes. I am poor. One hundred. And Nils says one hundred. Let's call it a day then. All right, Natalie Louise last time. I, I chickened out. I went into the draw variation. Maybe we'll try something new this time. All right, let's speed this up. Tomorrow I have a stream also, Monday. It's um, our normal Monday morning stream, 12 a.m. ET, Eastern Time. Asturbay, 46 and 0. But you gave it some college tries. You gave, you gave up some college tries lately, Asturbay. You had that one game where you really had me... You were close to something very serious. Keep pushing, Asturbate. You're going to score, man. You're not going to go another 46 games without scoring against me. I know that you're going to do it, man. I feel it coming on. So, Slaggy fan, we're going to play the, the Halloween Dracula Frankenstein variation or whatever. Oh, just E6, D6. Okay, so it, it's a bad Benoni for black, though. I believe in opposite castling. Weiss monsters. I play the Smithslav system. I know that it's kind of lame. Asturbate's going to play a Benoni. Is that the Benoni you're talking about, Turkey Farm? What have I done against Nils here? I did something I typically don't play. Okay. I usually play E3 there against Nils. Um, Alex Seal says, Hi, Merle Dixon. How are you, friend? So, this variation is not one that I'm very well I'm not very well familiar with not a line I've ever actually played in tournaments I've only seen other people play that line it always kind of scared me for both sides another possible Kings Indian we'll play something different I didn't play a Benoni you'll see I guess I'm capable of playing the Benoni, but it's not like a regular part of my opening repertoire. Something close to the Benoni. Merle Dixon's trying to get to Cambridge Springs. We've got uh, Grivas. <laughs> Grivas, Sicilian. There was this funny editor, note to the editor in, an <laughs> in a New Winchester book one time where this guy criticized Astradius Grivas for naming like the Queen B6 Sicilian after himself. And Grievous just went off on the guy. I know the guy. The guy's a real jerk. And uh, he's kind of arrogant. Grievous just like wrote back another letter to the editor <laughs> in New Winchester book and just smashed the guy. Um, all right. E3. So here we go. The anti E3. We beat Merle Dixon last week, and he's angry about it. He's not a happy camper. So Nils and Dim have called a truce in their bit war, it appears. I Come in Peace has kind of... <sighs> tempo down Benoni. Um... Not really recommended for Black. He's playing a little too fast. My limited knowledge of the Winnower. Um, I know this is a line. Okay, Slaji Fan played Bishop takes f7, which isn't considered good. That's like a beginner, beginner variation. Um, you reckon that I'm both drunk and tired and go into sharp variation? No, I didn't reckon. I, I I'm choosing my openings pretty randomly here. Um, sometimes I think more. My brain has been all over the place lately, this, today, this week. Copied an opening Carlson did once. Now I'm out of ideas. <laughs> that was 
I come in peace. Um, I'm still firmly ahead, but I was thinking yesterday, you know, about something. I mean, you can bet on the World Chess Championship. Now, I don't want to be like Ancient Aliens and the and the bringer of conspiracy theories, but everyone knows that in major sports, like particularly football, um, you know, soccer, um, I mean, corruption and fix match fixing is huge, a huge issue. But I'm just thinking, like, in chess, it seems like it would be a huge issue because you got this one event where, honestly, it seems like a lot of money, like a million dollars or two... I don't know how much, you know, is up for grabs for these two players, but to be perfectly honest, I mean, it seems like a lot more could be at stake. It would be a really good... It would be really lucrative, you know, for, for someone to fix the match compared to other types of sports, so... Let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm just seeding paranoia into the chess world. I'm 100% sure that Kasparov or Kasparov against Deep Blue was fixed, by the way. I mean, I'm totally on board with the conspiracy theory of that. I'm almost certain that, you know, basically Kasparov lost on purpose. Um, but anyway, that's ancient history. But just to show you how, how deep conspiracy really goes in the chess world. Um, I believe that's true. I believe that Kasparov lost on purpose against the computer. Plus, you know, it's a computer, so who cares? Someone's going to lose eventually anyway. Let's get a nice big fat pay paycheck. Um, but that's a long time ago. Anyways. Will Carlson... Will Carlson win? Yes, but not by the margin, I think. I think he threw it... Well, I think it was a conspiracy, man. Bob. No, I mean, I think he threw it. You know, not IBM cheated. I mean, there's no way to cheat, man. It's a chess game. I think it was a conspiracy to lose the match on purpose. The computer wasn't quite that strong at that point, really, compared to today's engines. Kasparov seemed to be okay. He lost very strangely. Probably it would have been like a draw, you know, if he hadn't thrown the match. The, the true result probably could have been likely like a draw match or something. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I don't have any like hard evidence, just my intuition. Um, I'm not the only titled player with that opinion either. Um, all right. So, what are we doing here? Playing some creative chess. We're not going to play d5 against Natalie Louise like last time. This is a rare line. I was talking about someone recently. Laluo. I, I played like that with white and sacked the pawn. Against the master who's now, I think, in Hawaii 20 years ago. I mean, he's got, like, nothing to lose. It's not even really... He doesn't even have to put his, his ego on the line. He wasn't losing to another human, you know? It's like, oh, it's a computer. Who cares? Whatever, man. He probably got a huge payday from IBM for losing that match. It's just crazy. Now, Gary will never speak to me again. Um, probably Mike, Michael Cohen was was the, the fixer involved. <laughs> I don't know. A little before Michael Cohen's time. Maybe Kasparov. Kasparov, he wasn't directly involved with the arrangement. All right, E6. Let's go, guys. Now, at the time, I was very convinced. It's been so long ago now, Bob. I hardly remember things like Kasparov's reaction. Um, but again, I think the point is he doesn't have to really put his ego on the line. It's a computer. Most people expected you to lose anyway. What do you have to lose? Why not collect a couple million dollars? Um, where's my knight going if it gets kicked here? It's all right. I just think that Carlson should handily beat Caruana. If he doesn't, it's kind of weird. There's also the idea of keeping matches close, you know, for betting purposes. 
But I doubt anything like that is really going on. I'm just kind of inducing worldwide paranoia here. All right, I'm going to play a4, restrict the queen side. My, my feeling is that Caruana should easily lose this match. But then again, you could say the same thing about Karyakin, who, who absolutely should have lost, without a question, handily against Carlsen. So, you know, there's this other thing that comes up when we talk about the fact that something that some people don't seem to really think about. Um, if you think about, well, look at this pawn sack here from Candela. If you think about, um, what did I do? Okay, this is just not really, this is just not really a line I've ever seen before. Um, weird. All right. Knight takes e4, d5, I don't know. I guess I have to take this. I'm falling in some sort of trap. Do you think that chess has too limited financial resources to be interesting for corruptcy? Corruptcy. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know how much money is getting bet on this match. But you may be right. I'm just seeding the, the conspiracy theory world. I'm just saying it's not very much money. Yeah, there isn't a lot of money. But I mean, if if Carlson or Caruana wanted to throw the match, they'd make a lot more money from betting on it than they would from what they're collecting for like first first place or whatever. I mean, they just make a lot more money. You know, it's not like it's not like it's like the World Boxing Title Championship fight where they're 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 fighting for like ten or twenty million dollars. There's really very little money at stake for such a high-profile event. All right. I have no clue what's going on. A smaller number of rich followers, just a smaller number of, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the truth is that chess is followed more by intellectual people, which, you know, for the most part, our people have more money, um, but not always the case. Okay, so Pichu brought his bishop to g4. That's generally not recommended in that line. And this looks like a transposition to a known line. I saw Alexander Ivanov play once. Okay, I'm out of book here. Playing the Winnower, which I don't know. Um, making random moves and such. F4, very aggressive move from S4. That's really funny when he plays things like F4. Um, you don't think they would throw a match for money. We'll lose the match eventually anyway. I mean... But I mean, the odds are so much in Caruana's, I mean, Carlson's favor. You could make a lot of money by, by throwing it to Caruana. I mean, chess is rife for, for match fixing. All right, knight g3, what do we do here? Something like bishop e6 drops a pawn. You get a load of development. There's the queen f3 thing that's annoying. Um, it's not like Magnus needs extra money, that's true. But I think that Fabiano could use some extra money, to be honest. <laughs> he could definitely use the extra money. Um... They can always use extra money. Kasparov didn't need extra money when he likely lost on purpose against Deep Blue. You know, you think that millionaires don't want another million dollars? 
the more money you have, the greedier you get. And you have more people, like, feeding off of you, essentially. You need to support all those leeches. All the leeches coming after you. Um, Alright, knight c6, I guess. And we tuck the king on g8. Alright, guys, I gotta play faster. We're just making up conspiracy theories instead of playing chess here. Um, Alright, bishop e2. Karpov is really rich. <laughs> Blade Abino, um, yeah, he's like in the Russian Duma, right? So, probably has a lot of connections. Alright, so d4 here? What's that about? Against Nils. Isn't he supposed to play knight e6 in this position? And he didn't? That's kind of weird. Slajifan didn't play... Slajifan didn't play uh, queen f3 check or queen h5 check. So that... What does that mean? You could try to develop more harmoniously, I guess. So Cash Maui now decides to play d5? Whoever predicted a Benoni... Whoever predicted a Benoni was right, I guess. Lalua says, I don't mean myself, what? Oh, Fabi bets the house on Carlson. We had this before. Was this the same game as last time? You're kidding me, Natalie Louise. Alright, I can try to improve on the last game. Peter said it was pretty good. I'm winning a pawn here? Or am I? Not really. Going on instinct. Has anyone here ever played an eight hour tournament game? Raise your hands. Soltigo. Why am I saying Soltigo? S4. Trying to go off after me. He's going after me. Alright, let's go with rook b8. I almost played h5 there. Eight hour games feel short. Wait, wait, wait. Queen takes, knight takes, pawn takes, knight d6. I think this is theory by transposition against Candela. Okay, Blue Adabano is just playing a line I play myself with black. Copying my game from last week against Natalie, she's repeating the position. Asturbate draw at least. Come on, Asturbate. Um, I gotta play faster. Okay, huge space advantage here. Against I come in peace. Acerbate, buddy. The classic. Sicilian. Shaquille O'Neal playing a very rare type of move against the Grunfeld Knight C6. Probably not that bad. Um, Alright, we got a standard. Against James, it's a very standard thing. Classic. Natalie Louise, can we improve on our last game? And against Nefidov. I mean, okay, what's he threatening here? 
Bishop F4 looks kind of disturbing. That's going to be an issue. Then I have to put my queen on c6. Is that a problem? Maybe not. But maybe so. Yeah, there's tactics. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Alright. Thanks guys for watching. I played a Benoni, but it's a tempo up Benoni. What if I take on c5 and then play like knight a4? Okay, take, take, take. The problem is he's getting my c pawn in return. Although I could play b4. Doesn't really help. Maybe it would help though. All right, let's see what we got. You guys are playing fast. Rook b8 now. Get those doggies rolling. TV shows before my time. Rawhide. All right, knight d7. The classic. El Clasico. Um, bishop there, knight there, there, there. We'll do that. Take back playing the scotch. Scotcharama. It is hard to understand for the average viewer, Pichu. Absolutely. Um, this, is, this is why chess is not popular in general. Absolutely. But then again, you could say the same thing about golf, you know, or even tennis. I mean, some games, especially these sort of elite, rich sports, like golf and tennis, um, you know, people are like, watch golf. What are you talking about? You know, um, Merle Dixon, I'm not sure knight f6 there is a typical move. Shaquille O'Neal just dropped a piece. That's very strange. Check. Always check, it might be mate. Oh no. I'm sacking a pawn. I forgot. I blundered against Bob. But not to worry, because this was all prepared. This was all planned. A terrible blunder against Bob. Now, this move, wow. See, like, he wasn't content with just, like, knight takes e5, d takes e5. Um, now he's actually playing for more. All right, I don't know. This is pretty weird. The classic a6 again. We've seen this so many times. Weiss Monsters, 54 bits from, from Nils to get to the even 2,000. Weiss Monsters with one bit. Um, we're not playing viewers on the stream. This is a simultaneous uh, simultaneous exhibition. Monday, if you guys tune in at 12 o'clock, I will be taking subscribers and viewers in Blitz and, uh, and so forth. Blitz and Rapid Blitz. Monday, 12 noon here. Tomorrow, in other words. 12 noon ET. All right, bishop f6, good move. Can I do the sealer sweeper here with e5? Just doesn't seem to quite cut it. Cut it. Beautiful looking position, but just doesn't seem like enough. Basically, baseball is tennis, but for peasants. Something like that, man. My dad told me when he was a kid during the Depression, they would just like, you know, that's how that stickball was invented. They basically, they basically had one baseball and, and they, you know, they used the same baseball till the cover was falling off. Um, you know, baseball is, it was a poor man's sport when my dad was a little kid in the Depression. You could play baseball with the same ball. Just keep putting tape on it, you know. They would just have these tape balls because they couldn't afford to buy a new baseball. I mean, baseball doesn't doesn't require a lot of money necessarily. Um, street baseball, essentially. What if we tried e5, takes 94, and just sacked the pawn for the love of 
the love of baseball. Okay, queen d2 now. Wow. I guess I should play rook e8 first and see what's going on. It's antiquated now in favor of more violent sports. Absolutely. Like, mixed martial arts tournaments. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, bishop f6. What are we going to do? Brook c1. Why is Dim going to get in jail? I want to know why Dim was going to get afraid he's going to get in jail for for something here. I don't know about this, but Morales is a solid clue position. Kind of standard Morales stuff. I don't know if it was wise to turn your student loan into bits. Who did that? Weiss Monsters turned his student loan into bits? Thank you, Weiss Monsters. It's very kind of you. Alright, BG4, I guess. We could play A6 first, though. Let's throw that in there. Dim with 150 bits. Uh-oh. And Nils strikes back with 50, so the war is not over yet. I decided to sack a pawn against I come in peace, just for fun. And Nils is getting... Um, we could try to win the pawn on C5, but that seems lame. Going for space. Distract Nils, Dim, while I take him out on the board. Whoa. Alright. Distract him while I just take him out here. So. Not quite sure, though. I like Morales' position. Seems sound. Perfectly fine. If I could play d4, it's kind of funny. Let's just do it. I'm going to drop a pawn if I... He's going to take on a2. For real. Oh my god. Dim is all in with 50... Never tell them you're all in, Dim. Always hide a couple chips, you know, under the rail. Um, you could scare him off if you, if you if if you weren't all in, basically. You know, you, you watch really experienced players, and they they don't quite go all in unless they have to. You know, sometimes you need the all in, but if if the all in isn't gonna scare the opponent, like you know, you know that Nils is loaded and he's also playing loose. Um, he's got a lot of money and he's playing loose, you know. You're not going to scare him with an all-in. You want to make him think you have more chips behind, basically, in his case. Infinite Flash has 30 bucks a pop. That's not much in the grand scheme of baseball tickets. Cash Maui with another 100 bits. All right, so Queen takes F3. We expected this, obviously. And now, Nefidov with what? Bishop g5, okay. Bishop g5 is not a problem. It is not a problem in and of itself. I was thinking maybe bishop b7 or bishop a6, bishop takes f6, rook g6, blah, 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 blah. I mean, obviously I can play rook g6. What about bishop a6 and, and ideas of actually taking that pawn? It seems like a fantasy. And I'm spending a lot of time here. I thought I was going to kill me. Okay, so blue-eyed albino is basically playing, it's like playing myself. I played this for black, it's very solid. Um, Cash Maui again, thank you. Nilsa 2100, Dim has more behind. Um, Nils, can we tell sexual jokes in the chat or will I get banned? It depends. <laughs> the answer is it depends. Um, you know, try to keep it. Try to keep it, you know. Not too bad. Um, I guess we'll, we'll handle them on a case by case basis. I can't make any promises. So what would Ivanchuk do? Um, I had this game with Varga Pater last year with Black, the same position, I think. Maybe he played Bishop B1, I don't remember. Um, Bob walks a fine line. 
he is the master of walking a fine line. Okay, so here we are with this Roy Lopez. Um, Maybe I should play h3, Sarawan. All right, so we lost the pawn against Saji Fan, but how justified is it? Got the flying pieces here. Flying pieces, very active. Black, Bishop, <laughs> Bishop b2, d3 would be painful. Nils is going to have to get timed out. <laughs> have to time him out, man. You can't, you can't do that in the, in the chat, man. All right, he's on timeout for telling inappropriate jokes in the chat. And he's our number one, he's our number one donator, and I had to put him on timeout. You have to send it for, we can't have that, Nils. He's got a little too drunk. All right, C5, oh my God, I lost a piece back. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Shaquille O'Neal wins a piece back. Well, just in exchange, we can afford it. We're up a lot of material there. Um. I don't know how long is Nils' time out for, but it's going to give Dim time. To, well, Nils can still make donations while he's timed out. Um, he would be banned if he was a F2P chess player. All right. Now, Queen G4. Wait, what's going on here? E5, take, take. That looks unpleasant. Can't play that. So queen g4. This looks really freaking scary, man. I mean, castling queenside may be an option. It's not really a happy option. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble against Candela as usual. I haven't beat him once now. All right, Dim is in the lead now with 2,151. <laughs> Can Nil still donate while he's banned? I mean, timed out. Will he want to donate anymore? That I had to do it. I had to time him out. Just a too sexual, too sexual joke. 5:30 in the dark. I agree, Bob. Why is this daylight savings time even necessary? Absolutely stupid. Absolutely, it's ridiculous. Um, I agree 100%, and I think a lot of people would agree with you. It is absurd. Absurd is the word. We're going to lose again against Candela. So now Slaji Fan is... He's taking control. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did it. I let him bamboozle me. And stole a pawn from me. Oh no, a5, a5, b5. This is one of those positions where I can't make up my mind like there are so many choices. Beer replaces one egg per calorie, so it's good to drink beer. Yeah, beer has a lot of, it's food. That's the argument um, where I come from, beer is food. Of course, F, S4 played what he played, man. What did we expect? Nils now with, uh, sorry, Lalua with D5. Um, I don't know why I'm surprised by this move. It's kind of logical looking. And now James, who's insanely solid. 
Not sure why I played this stupid opening <laughs> in the first place. Too good of a position. My mom has dementia, and people, older people who have dementia, um, oftentimes they they get this condition called sundowning, which means that they basically start to lose it when it's like dark, and and they start to just kind of lose their lose their idea of what's going on every night. You know, when it gets dark, and if, for them, it's like for anyone who has Alzheimer's, it's absolutely even worse. I mean, they start going to bed at like five o'clock at night. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, Alright, so I come in pieces kind of hanging on here, and it's starting to bug me. But I don't know what I expected after sacrificing there. Can I improve on the last game? With Natalie Louise, that's the question. 94, I don't know why I didn't see this move as well. Pretty dumb. So Slaggy Fan has a good chance today. It would appear. Bishop b5, check. The bird is the word. Bishop b5, check. Bishop d7, takes. Knight takes. Knight takes d5. Queen takes d2. That looks like a good ending for white. No jokes, Bob. Or you'll get timed out as well. Fear the timeout. Hey, my king's on F1. Don't forget. <sighs> king's on F1. Okay. My king's on F1, but I am up a pawn. That's good. Yeah, let's like check. I think Nils just... You know, where is he? He's invisible now. I'll never be able to see, see Nils again. Um, Alright, Nils. No more sexual jokes. I'm going to take you out of timeout. You can come out of the corner now. Um, Stuke, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for getting me into this Twitch crap. I can't take credit for it. Um, powerful pawn, the power pawn. Anyway, Benoni. Good Benoni. I hope I'm not playing Mama Jara up there. Um, Acerbate with the full on. Classic. The Classico. Dim is in first place with 2,151. Nils to 2,150. Zenchest not here tonight. And now C5 from Blue Eyed Albino. An aggressive move, actually, but normal. Once again, we ask ourselves, what would, what would, um, what would, um, Ivanchuk do, for example? Okay, Queen C two. I guess. Does that work? Nah, I want to publicly apologize. It's alright, Nils. You asked me in advance, and I didn't know how bad it would be. But it was a little bit too graphic. Parmenides, we had the same game before, dude. And you're doing this again. I swear we had the same game before. And he's repeating it. So I made the same mistake again? Oh, no. So my game with Alejandro Rios was like knight a4 instead of knight b3. Now I remember. I unimproved on my own game. And now my, my pawn is hanging on c4. My extra pawn. What are we going to do, guys? Take this knight. Whatever. It's whatever. I should have played knight a4, Parmenides. In this game against Alejandro Rios, um, I think that's what I did in 1992. 1992. Very recent in my memory. Um, so Parmenides trying to repeat a game he had against me earlier. He apparently liked his position, so he's trying to do it again. And he's getting away with something here, because I didn't... I didn't do the right thing yet again. 
Man. He's prepared this. Yeah, we have to sort of clean up Nils's joke so that it's more politically correct for the general audience. Bob will do his best to translate in a non-offensive manner. B6. I'm unimproving on my previous game. Okay, knight f6 here. What do we what do we got? D4. No more no more. No more D4. Um I was laughing. Was I laughing? That would look bad. I don't remember laughing. I was laughing at you getting <laughs> I was laughing at you, not with you. Alright, knight e4. Knight takes e4, knight g5. This is similar similar to the other Benoni. My other brother. My other brother Daryl. You had to literally translate it from the Dutch. Okay, monster bishops. River guarding rook. But I'm playing too slow, guys. We need to speed this up. Speed up the process. Okay, scary position here against Candela. Not a happy camper right about now. Classic Mamajarov Gelfand against Cash Maui. Castles, we're just starting the King's Indian against Dimitri. Can we beat Merle two weeks in a row? Nils has donated another hundred. Yeah, no, he apologized, donated a hundred. So he's up to twenty two fifty. Dim with two thousand one hundred fifty one this week. Thank you guys. Alright, we got nothing against Morales. Do you want to do the hippo? What I call the hippo transfer. <laughs> There's this guy, Sergei Ionov from Ukraine, who used to play the hippo all the time in IM. And he just does that. Yanov, I should say. Call him Ionov. Like ionization. Good English pronunciation. Alright, so Rook D1. Oh, that's subtle. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Correct? Correct? Alright, so I thought we'd go to endgame land. Endgame land is very close to zombie land. Right, Merle? Where is Merle? He's in zombie land. We're in endgame land. An unpleasant situation. So what are we doing here? He's trying to trade pieces. I don't like trading pieces too much. Okay, take back had to play the very awkward bishop f3. That's never a really good sign. If I play d5 here, we just roll in. Rolling with rooks. With Grandmaster Roman G. Ashfili. Rolling with rooks. d5. Um... All right, time is ticking. So, I want to thank you guys for supporting the stream. Come on, the metric system is relatively modern. They tried to introduce the metric system when I was in in elementary school. It just wouldn't fly, you know. It's not like we didn't try. I mean, I remember it being introduced in like second or third grade. Not introduced, but they are really making a push. I mean, you may not know this infinite flash chess, but in my generation, they really made an attempt. It just won't stick. You know, the whole metric system thing. But it's not like we didn't try. Should be five check. Um, yeah, all right. So this game was kind of irritating, you know, in that I was just up a piece and gave a material back. I hope I don't mess it up because it wouldn't be the first time I messed up something like that. Um,
a horseshoe that can't turn on its backside. Yeah, that's that's awkward. Those poor horseshoe crabs. I'm so sorry for them when they're like that, you know? You have to, like, flip them over. Here we are. The main cabin masters. What you saw at Soltigo on the reality show? The red and green show? Now that's something else similar. Um, all right. Knight A6, Dr. Dynamic. Ignis. Ignis is playing like a super GM or something here. Yeah, I mean, inches come from from England, right? I mean, the whole system is is ancient. Bishop d seven. Soltigo definitely got pirated Canadian TV back in the day from Maine. The Red and Green Show, that's awesome, dude. That's like classic. Bishop d7. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. That's how I learned to do, like, a really bad fake Canadian accent. Alright, so Astrobate's trying to go for it there. That's not going to happen, Astrobate. We've been here before. Been here before, and we've done this before. Now, Black wants to play c4. We've got b3, but then he's got... B5, then we've got A4. So the whole thing could get very complicated. What if I just play B3 straight away and we simply do that? We can preempt him. Weakening my structure for no good reason. I mean, if there's any justice in the world, white would have an advantage in this position, but it's looking kind of hard to do anything with. Okay, turkey farm with a huge joke there. Let's see what's up. Drake a full beer figuring out the 94 move. Um, okay. I'm still trying to figure a lot of things out here. We got to get out of this. I mean, this is enough of this. We got to break free against Natalie Louise. Speaking of breaking free, um, godlike, the godlike continuation. Can I defend myself in some way, please? Please, just don't. Okay, the passive ninety-eight, Mark Hebden style. King H eight next. Now, what did I have in store here for S4? No clue. The New Zoo Review. Children's show from my, my childhood. Kind of scary. One of those scary, scary, weird children's shows. Um, B4. Good thing I can take my watch off here and not have someone steal it. Bishop b7 was my original plan, but I'm having second thoughts. It does seem... It does seem strange to do that at this point. You just migrate now. Um, so Blue Light Albino with a super solid... Playing like... Winwalk Tronkson. Queen's Indian Master. Oh no. Wait... I have no other way to protect my a3 pawn against Grandmaster Flash. Okay, f5. Wow, dude. That's some crazy stuff right there. I think that can't be... That just can't be right. But if I play this... Maybe it's better to go here first. Threat is stronger than the execution. 20 years I've been on the internet, I've learned one good thing. 
I've been on the internet longer than that. It's kind of scary. The thought of that. How long have I been on the internet? Cash Maui. A.K.A. Shakriar Mamajarov. Um, let's go, dude. What's my plan here against Laluo? Who we know is a tough customer. <sighs> C6 just would jeopardize the whole darn structure. You want to break out with E6? And this guy's playing pretty well, Shaquille O'Neal, after that initial horrendous blunder. I guess my plan was to come back. Okay, so Nils is basically in donation mode. H6, very slow. Heavy plays king h8 there with the idea of knight g8. We had a game like that, actually, years ago. Hebden and I was a draw, our first battle. Um, okay, I miscalculated here. We, Weissmasters can't get his queen side moving there. Nils just resigned. Um, all right. Dude, this is getting out of control. We go Keith, speak English Grandmasters. Where's Arsenal fan? And Nefidov. Bishop takes c5 from Merle. I can't believe it. But he does develop a piece. I mean, this move has certain logic to it. Nils says, see y'all later. 450 bits to top it out at 2700. He is our winner at this point for bit donations for the week. Thank you, my friend. Um, good, you know, good job. I don't know what happened in the game. Maybe you had too many beers. It's all right. You you spend it on a good cause. Donating to a good cause. We do the Sarawan crawl. No, it's not Sarawan. It's the Yanov crawl. Already Fufkin. And now F5. So we've got a very classic Kings Indian. Um, but a slow setup, essentially. Um, you're going to beat me in the bit war. So Zen Chess is here in the house. He's not playing, but he's got major problems on the bit front. Now the G5 is... I'm getting G5 across the board here. This bishop needs to uh, relocate. Should I go to D2? Yeah, probably. Um, okay, so this game... This game kind of freaked me out. We may very well go from being a pawn up to a pawn down in this one, unfortunately. Not yet, but the likelihood is fairly high. It's pretty awkward for me. I mean, rook takes f4, rook takes d5, it's, it's quite passive for black. I like that. You ruined Aster Bates moment. Alright, next week we'll come up with an appropriate joke. Thank you, Nils. And thanks for everything, man. Thanks for supporting the stream. <clears throat> Bishop G4, time is getting shorter here. Nils is ahead, 2700. Dim, 2151. Zen Chess with 1545. Other donations this week. Parmenides with 500. Mule Skinner 250. Transidot 200. Cash Mai 200. Fish Rat Cal 100. Sublime 2100. And Merle Dixon with just 100 this week. Usually Merle, he's been supporting the stream a lot. So thanks a lot for every week, Merle. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't say hello from the pandas today. I got distracted. Hello. A real panda is in Budapest. Hey guys, but we still count. Okay, we count. Substitute pandas count too. All right, I gotta speed it up, guys. So let's do something logical here. Do we have any tactics? Tactics never work. It could though. You could play like night takes.
That's not gonna work, man. Tactics don't work. Cash my donated another hundred. Thank you guys. Whoa, your your sister had a baby this morning, Bob. Man, that's crazy. And she had this crazy dream. But obviously she has good reason for having such a dream. Um, do I believe in supernatural things? To be quite honest, I've never really had what I could classify as supernatural experience of my own. But I'm not going to... You know, I'm going to say I'm open to believing in supernatural things. But I don't have supernatural experiences of my own to uh, to really, let's say... You know, validate that. How's this rook doing? It's a crazy move, <laughs> rook h3. I just want to get it across. Um, like we're highly likely to drop a pawn here the question is like what's the best way is there a good way to lose a pawn not really Would you call aliens normally natural? I don't make a lot of calls to any aliens. I'm just kidding around with the very stupid jokes. Um, I can't read all these streams, comment all the stream comments about aliens and such. I gotta keep my Keep my eye in the game, my, my brain in the game now. So let's just do that. Sorry I can't address the alien issue at the moment. Um, knight looking pretty grim there. The knight on the grim is dim. Ah, knight h5 from Pichu. Very alert move. Take, take, take. Take there. He's got all sorts of tricks. Wow. It's an awesome move. Knight takes e5. Snapologist. That's like a scientist who works for Snapple. A Snapologist. I'm a snapologist. All right, queen b6, very strange. I did encounter a similar move against the aforementioned Mark Hebden in another one of our games, but not with the knight on d7. Mark did that with the knight back on b8, and I think it's a lot more effective in that position. Not so effective here, because the bishop is blocked on c8 from coming to f5. Mark Hebden, king's Indian expert and friend of mine. All right. Not intelligent life. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing here, guys? Queen h6 looks pretty nasty. But that's five. Whatever. Five, six. Um, all right, so we got bishop takes e5. That was probably a good choice by Natalie Louise. Just simply taking on e5. And Snappleologist. Lalo is just really active here. Um, life on Earth is an alien to other life on Earth. Right, okay. You guys are just too much ancient aliens today. I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to have to cut you off, I'm afraid. Nothing like a nice weakening move. Right, let's get off the hot diagonal. Fonza Curry, <laughs> don't mention him again. 
Oh no, he was like artificial intelligence rather than alien life. Different thing, man. Queen sack. Oh my god. So you're seriously going to do that? Like rook b1, bishop c3, queen takes c3? And I, I almost get mated on the back rank, but I don't quite get mated on the back rank. And I hope that works. You could sack his queen. Um, Alright, so... What are we going to do now? I played this stupid bishop d7. I don't know, I'm just going to play h5. Um, we are a little better against Merle, which is extremely rare. That's two weeks in a row we got some sort of advantage over the mi micro. The micro variety. Oh no, bishop f4. Alright, there goes the king side. It's all in. We're all in here, right? It's a classic all in scenario in the King's Indian. Um, all right, so d5. Gotta move it, move it, move it. A little bit faster. Bishop g5, good idea, good move. I don't like you anymore. Knight takes d4. Knight takes d4, queen takes d4, knight takes e4. Queen takes e4, queen takes g5. Check, what am I, like, losing a rook there? It's not really what I wanted to do. Um, it's almost like I have to play queen c8, but that looks very awkward. Very awkward. You gotta do something. Okay, rooks on a6 are awkward as well. Acerbate could not be long for this world. I mean, it's very possible he is getting ripped into little pieces here. This is pretty much what we're looking for when we're playing the white side of the of the wonderful what's it called? The Czech Benoni. But maybe he's got some survival skills here. The crazy H5 has been played. Almost unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, dude. I, I just don't think that's going to work. All right. Here we win an exchange. That's good. Right. Queen h4 does nothing. Bad Benoni for Soltigo. It looks like a really bad Benoni. Um, this looks really bad. D6. I mean, for example. Oh no. Defenestrating. Defenestration. Coming piece played just too fast. He's basically playing bullet. We're going to lose to Candela yet again. It looks like. Yeah, but come in peace, you're playing too fast for this time control, man. I mean, you're basically playing bullet against my blitz game. Your bullet game against my blitz game isn't going to stack up well. You need to play, you need to play like your, your rapid game against my blitz game. Um, 
All right, knight b4, unexpected twist here. Unexpected twist. Oh no. Okay, what are we doing? The d6 square. But what can I do with it? Oh no, no, we're not answering the phone. I just want to check it. Thank God for caller ID, what's left of it, that I can at least identify who's calling and about what. Um, right, you guys can probably barely hear that phone ringing. Soltigo went home, but he's in a bad way here, I think. Maybe I'm overextending. It's really weird that the answer machine should be picking up after four calls. It wasn't picking up. That was like six calls. What is up with this bishop h3? All right. Bring it on, Astrobate. I dropped my d6 pawn against Cash Maui. It was just a sacrifice. You better believe it. We're coming. We're fully armed. With the classic Benoni. So we go there, he goes there, we go there, he goes there, we go there, he goes there. So there, 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 there. There, there. I'm going to lose the exchange? Damn it. Knight g5, bishop takes g5, bishop takes b7, rook b8. Then I have to play like f4. You're kidding me. This doesn't work. Um, all right, then I'm not. But he certainly weakened his, you know, he weakened his pawn structure. Um, wow, bishop d5 check? Close to mate there. The long diagonal of, of love. All right, guys. The classic bayonet attack in full force against Dimitri. Now, everything is coming down on that king. It looks gruesome. It really looks gruesome. Okay, we, we've got to see knight d5 an issue here. C knight d5 as an issue here. So I don't want that knight coming to d5. That's not welcome. Um, it looks like Candela is just going to make our life a living hell again. That's a good phrase, right? Make our life a living hell again. Someone else should use that phrase. Um, all right, Soltigo. It's, it's gone too far this time. You've gone too far this time, buddy. I don't want to trade pieces anymore. Um, he has massive compensation against Kashmai with the accidental pawn sack. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He stopped everything. He stopped everything with this. That's annoying. That's annoying. What are we going to do with the B6? What are we going to do? Man, that sort of sucks. So Astrobate is close to the precipice of of death here. Looks like a rook sacrifice. Um, should bring it down. Should finish him off. Got to be you got you know you got to be direct with Astrobate. He's a tough customer. You can't be you can't be gentle. Man, Morales is just coming to kill me here. This is not good. This strategy didn't really work the way I hoped it would work.
Make life a living hell again. Right. Okay, so like rookie seven check. Queen takes e7, pawn takes e7. Yeah, that looks pretty bad for black. But it probably doesn't work. got to do our best do our best to survive there the computer couldn't save this for black i don't think it's got to move for every occasion maybe the b5 maybe the b5 all right let's see um egyptian so we managed to win a pawn here against Pichu. My rook is not really, you know, something I wanted to give up there. To be perfectly honest. I feel like I took forever on his last move. What? Should be two. Okay. So E three. Hmm. Maybe I should consider castling long, but only next move. It's like rook g it's crazy to cast along though. I have no king safety here. Never should have played the French against against Nefidov. Bishop six was also kind of dubious. What about this move? He's got a trick though. Queen d6, bishop takes f6, rook g6, bishop e5, knight takes e5, pawn takes e4. That actually looks okay. Bishop takes rook there. Knight takes e4. So I have to play this first. All right, so it's hard to crack black now with that stupid situation. I need a, I need a creative, creative solution. My solutions are pretty slow. Sloth, sloth masters. Right, you had that. You had that. I can't believe you had that. But wait, if I... T oh, that's beautiful, dude. If I take here... That is beautiful. Wow. Sloth Masters. Man, this looks... This looks problematic for black. Just pro problematic. All right. Slight advantage. Ninety six, anybody? You want to play ninety six? What am I doing? Time is a problem. Dropped a pawn against Bob. I'm streaming tomorrow. Is it a holiday? It's not one of those holidays again. I'm not used to living in the United States in the fall. Yeah, I am streaming. But I am absolutely not used to this. Paying attention to American holidays. For living in Budapest for so long. Um, wow, look at this move. Coming to get me. All right. I have no clue <laughs> about US holidays anymore. It's absolutely out of my depth. Just try to win material. Nefedov in his favorite pet variation. Whoa, what happened? 
S4. It will be mate. Masturbate. Not today, buddy. So, of course, I missed this move. But does it actually work? Mad Louise only needs seven minutes for the whole game. That's a lot of time. Look, C2. Wow. At least there's no knight d5 anymore. At least not momentarily. How about developing? Into that? Assault? Look at the move. Look at this move. Wait. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wow. What is going on? Crazy. All right, Shaquille O'Neal's not gonna be long for this world. Obviously. Ass rate's done. 47. Um, Soltigo is just trying to make my life a living. Hell, like we talked about earlier. Okay, knight b5. What is that? He's going to sack peace or something? Queen g4. Wow. Interesting. Crazy. Tough game, tough game. Bobadana Sully Karpov, do trade the white scar bishops. Pretend our opponent is is uh oh my god, Bob, you did it again. Bob did it again. Bob did it again. He stole another pawn. My god, man. I think this is like his pet variation or something. He keeps coming up with these pawn steals. It's so primitive. I'm not even looking for that. It's the second one, man. I didn't get to make a move last time. No, I played knight a4. Okay. All right. All right. It's a little slow. Neftov now with bishop e3 defending. He offers me a draw. Yeah, I'm not comfortable here against Neftov. I don't like this line. I don't know it well enough. I'm going to take his draw. And I feel okay about taking that draw, I guess. Here, um, queen b6. But how am I going to defend my pawn? Queen b6 is a blunder? This is getting confusing. All right. Uh, check and check and check and check. I know about that. The rook d2. <sighs> Stay with a small advantage here. Time is ticking. Bishop takes f6. A, b. Is possible. What's he trying? Bishop takes f6. Knight d5. Bishop g7. Knight takes e 7 Bishop d8. And then, then what is he going to do? So bishop takes there, there, knight back to c3. That's very awkward. But I could play knight e5 and maybe defend myself. Or I can take on b5. Let him take on, let him take on g7. Play it like a accelerated dragon, basically. Ah, now he's coming back with that. Right? Knight f8, very awkward there. Um, no mates. Unfortunately, there's no mate. Shaquille O'Neal, this is this is equal. 
trade of Brooks. Well, we got three wins, a draw, and no losses so far. But Saltico putting a lot of pressure on my pawn on e5. He shouldn't be justified in having some sort of an advantage there. Um, Bob stealing a second pawn, and I keep missing like one move threats from Bob, which is starting to basically piss me off. I just missed like three one move threats so far. Just really irritating. All right, Laluo tough as usual. Candela. Not sure what's happening here. Lucky I got a pawn at all there. Um, okay. So, we're in pretty good shape here. This is looking good. I like this position. But I suppose that uh, e5? e5 will free him. You need to go for the kill there against Parmenides. Okay, knight to e5, knight to e5, knight to e5, yep. Another knight. Right. I saw that, and I thought I had some sort of stupid trick. Stupid chess tricks. Okay, you need to leave the area over there, Cash Maui. You're going to need to leave the area. Um, okay. We need to get back ourselves. Queen h6, too dangerous. Put pressure on that. Check. In a very uncomfortable situation here. like the lesser of the evils. Bishop takes h5. Oh my god. Well, if I take it, he has apparently at least a really solid attempt at a... Yeah, it looks like a perpetual. At least a perpetual. Um, but I could not take it and play for counterplay, which looks like what I should do. I mean, b4. But maybe dangerous. Rookie 1. Merle Dixon. Playing like his usual self again today. I just don't have enough here. Just gonna offer a draw. Um, he sacked a queen against me, Ignis. Soltico is dangerous, um... He's dangerous, period, but... Okay, very, very scary attack now against h3. Mule Skinner is just brutal. This is probably too much for me to withstand a bad opening. But maybe, maybe we can survive somehow. Bishop d4. Wow. The monster move. Do the monster mash. The man is a chess god. He's just a chess god. What am I going to do here? Right, so we're down a pawn. I think we have some counterplay. Against Candela. And here black doesn't really have enough for the sacrificed queen. Shouldn't be enough. H5. Alright, that's enough of that. But don't try to blitz me, okay?
Okay, Saltigo's on a fishing expedition with a fishing pole. <laughs> um, here we are. Rook A6 check. Okay, kids. Are we having fun yet? No mates? Can you guys feel like you maybe could get into some time pressure, please? Can we see a little bit of time pressure from the opponents, perhaps? Cheap, cheap shot number one. Cheap, cheap. Another piece sacrifice. Oh my god. The correct. The correct answer. Cash Maui. What happened? G5. Okay. Queen. Okay, we have some small advantage here. Is it black lost now? My goodness, this is scary. Rook H8. Mina, help me. Ice Monster is the only player in time pressure in the entire tournament or simultan. Rook A7 check. Where did I go? King. Where was I before? King King F6? That's kind of awkward. I could go to King G6. I don't have much time to think about it, honestly. G5. Trying to hurt me. It's not very nice. Alright, yes. Sacks the exchange. Oh. Rook H8. And this doesn't look good for, for black. Yes. Yield ops color bishops. What's next? Queen H4. Oh my 
god. Queen d5. Scary. I think black is just stuffed here. Speaking of scary, um, don't know what I'm thinking really. Thinking, I'm almost toast now. Let's go, guys. The IPA. Rook B1. It's a problem. You have all the time in the world. There goes the queen side. <laughs> Bob stole yet another pawn. How many is that so far? You're killing me, man. Queen G4. Oh. What's that about? Really scaring me. Just basically uh, try to defend myself somehow. Knight takes B seven, maybe not that good. That knight c5 is annoying. Very annoying, I would say. Okay, knight takes b7. I guess we have to do this. a long maneuver. Another check. You guys move a little bit slower. Mice monsters taking my advice. You're kidding me. What? You just played queen d5. I played rook takes a2. Oh, you played queen d5. And I just dropped a piece. All right. I understand now. Okay, I just dropped a piece against take back, so. That's hopeless. I thought it was interesting for a while. Um, that's going to be our first loss of the day. Didn't see my rook was hanging. Happy to draw there against Candela from a pawn down with a rook active. Um, now rook g6, he's really threatening to hurt me. This is awkward. We can try to run away. What did I have in store here? Nothing special, just going back.
we're in a lot of trouble against this guy, Mr. Morales. As usual. But maybe we can save it. Maybe we can save it here. Waste monsters, you're supposed to lose on time. Alright, where's my mate? Where's my mate? Don't see a mate. We're just running away. Now Bob managed to save everything. No. Not everything. But most everything. Sorry guys, I cannot possibly focus on the chat, so just bear with me here. We do the best we can. Check. Queen F6. Looks like a good move. Alright, we got him where we want him. The Parmenides. This one as well looks very promising. Um, we just a4 here. That's to be expected. Fixed his pawns. Psychic network that never sleeps. You're just like I'm in middle game, so it's fine. Like I can't move a piece. I haven't seen s4 in a while, but it's it's getting ugly. As usual. Just the perfect Zugzwan. Middle game Zugzwan. It's hard to play this guy. He seems so brutal. Just never really have an idea what to do. It's offering a draw, right? That's equal. Um, yeah, this is tough, but black might be better. Um, K. The diagonal. Okay, I thought I had something here, but I missed a pretty obvious thing. That stupid F3 pawn. Alright, whatever. I'll try to draw him out. Bob, what's up, man? Getting something back? Are we getting something back? Got a good Benoni against Weiss Monsters. We lost one to take back. And here I'm hoping that I'm okay. May the dark squares be with you. Night check. What does that actually do? I don't know, but like rook, rook d1 is not really on. Is it? It's a funny move. <laughs> rook d1. Alright, we'll have some fun. What happened? Okay. Right. Let's just keep it. I probably should take with the pawn there. Saltigo is just getting crazy. Now the classic. Yeah. Waste Monster's in a lot of trouble. So against Bob, we're... We're, like, hanging on after the disaster opening. Um, the good opening, but then the immediate disaster after that first stage. Totally ruined our position very, very quickly. Um, here. Cash Maui. Fairly equal position, I agree. I'm out of here. Still, he goes down a piece, a rook to be in, a rook to be exact. Um, we got some threats there. There comes that move. We got to play e5 now. Happy to still be in the game at all. Honestly, here I thought we just do that. Black's in a lot of trouble here. White mon white monsters. 
Well, that's close enough, white monsters. Okay. Oh, the F file. You like the F file, do you? I see. All right. You like an F file. A6. All right, that's fine. Um, or it's not fine. What do we do? We go to C6. He takes a take. Then there's this very awkward thing. All right, I'm going to go with this. This is looking good. Artie's in time pressure. We've got mate on the board. All right, that's good. Taken away. Where we're going there. Soltigo is down. Significant material. He's in some trouble. But I can't pick up my pieces to move them. All right. So here. We lost one. Six wins, five draws as far, guys. Okay, we got Rook D6. That's to be expected. The massive pressure here. Um, so I thought we had A5. Is there any reason why not? Do I hear anyone? Disagreeing with that idea. Bob, the Bobster. Rhymes with lobster. Um, this is like kind of hope chess move. Looks like. Maybe he'll take it and open the F file. Check. Wow. So Dimitri is just gonna ruin my day. As usual. Saltigo finds a way to keep the game alive, essentially. In a lost position, will not give up. Right now we're gonna try to exterminate black here. Very bad position, we have to put him away. Um, now, this totally annoying move. <laughs> oh man, what am I gonna do? Are you serious about this? Are you serious about this? If I take on d4, I guess that's my best chance. I have no clue. I guess I'll take a piece and hope for the best. Um, thought we were getting counterplay here. Maybe I missed something. Looks like we're going to lose at least one. We've got a dark skirt bishop. And he doesn't. And that's keeping me in the game. Against Morales, who's in bad time pressure. Um, yeah. Soltigo just will not resign. Down a rook. It's unfortunate. Key one. Uh oh. <sighs> Takes with check. This totally was unexpected. I did not anticipate that at all. Um, this looks really weird. What's even the material here? Um, wow. Okay. Rook h1, I guess. I'm not going to defend passively. Bob, leave me alone. Bob's got a new target. I mean, am I okay here? H5, wow. What is this, some sort of bluff? Not really. 
I thought he won a queen h7 too. I'm as surprised as you guys are about that. Absolutely. It's kind of a weird move by me. B4. Not a bad move. It's a bad move. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Ice Monsters just keeps hanging on. Man, with the increment. We let, we let Dimitri have totally unnecessary counterplay in that game. I should have been, I should have been more or less like winning easily. <laughs> it's terrible, but we do what we can do. All right, man. This is <laughs> this is getting a little bit too much. Bob offered a draw. One, two, three, four, five. His structure is inferior. I will not take a draw here. Um, with more time, now we're playing for something there. What happened? Okay, rook e2. Hmm. Why am I down a pawn? Oh, I sacked the pawn. He's defended like a, a, a genius in this game, actually. No, I have knight h2 to defend that pawn if necessary. So here, um, I have king f6. That looks kind of dangerous. So that's not happening. Oh, I get it. King f6 gets mated. So I have to try to walk away. So maybe I do have to play king f6. As strange and as dangerous as that might look, um, may actually be the best move. Soltigo with a psychic moment. The master of being a... He's the master of being a rook down. Oh, good move by Dimitri. Wow, that's perfect. Man. I don't really deserve to lose this game, Dimitri. You were just totally busted. But the chances are I'm probably going to lose. It's pretty sad. Um, it was it was a terrible Kings of the End for Black. Um, all right, we're gonna lose this. It looks like. So what happened? Rook takes d4. We're gonna lose this one slow. It appears maybe not so slow actually. Um, slowly. Not so slow. Easy peasy, down a piece, sacrifice. Okay, so Morales here. Trying to win a pawn. That's awkward. Guess we can hold on. Wow, look at that. Oh no. Oh no. D6 triple exclam. Saving everything. Cash Maui getting faster and faster. Okay, I'm dead here against Dimitri. Haven't played him in a while. Speaking of dead. I thought I was okay here, but now I'm having my doubts. Maybe I'm okay. I'm getting a little pessimistic now. I 
least Sol Soltigo likes being down a rook. Um, all right. Yes. Totally missed this move. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not even paying attention anymore. That's pretty bad. Nice defense by Dimitri there. All right, Soltigo. I'm growing impatient. A lot of good positions. Kind of going to waste here. Usually we're about done with the simul by now, but Dimitri just keeps ruining my day. Rob goes into this sketchy endgame. That doesn't look great. Alright, B7's hanging, so it's a pawn for a pawn. Defending against the threat, and creating his own threat. What's the latest? Bishop F1. Just trying to stay alive here. That's a thing. Don't I have something? Anything? F5? Alright, I gotta play. I just gotta play. We got some lag, unfortunately. Soltigo with the unbelievable move. Queen E8. Soltigo not doing me any favors here. Rook takes d3, just dropped it outright. Nice. Just dropped the pawn outright against Pichu from a clearly better position. It's unbelievable. Just gave it to him. <laughs> Amazing coordination. How did Black get back in this game from dropping a pawn? Played really well. Man, Bob should be in trouble there. Rook takes. So he goes like a rapid fire machine gun with the moves. Bob, maybe not 100% lost here. I mean, it looks bad.
How come no one ever loses on time? Yeah, I mean, you'd think this was good for me. Bob putting up really good resistance. How about my bishops? How about my outside pawn? That should really decide the game there. I mean, Lalua should be in a lot of trouble. Black should be winning there. What happened? H4, is that a mate? Whatever it is, I don't really like it. The usual scary, scary stuff from the frightening. Dude who, I just have no clue what to do. It's like Zugzwan, sort of. Like a really messed up Zugzwan. Down a piece, but he just knows that Zugzwan. That's really frightening. Um, Alright. Oh my god. He found a defense. <sighs> Rolls found a defense. Of course. E5. What? Oh, it's some perverted mate. Silence, the sound of silence here. Should be winning. I just think I have to take a draw here. My my, my rook is not playing. Um against Dimitri Bishop F eight. Uh okay. Very scary scenario, but um, we'll see. Rook f8, rook f1. Rook f1, any move, rook takes f5. But he's got to check. My god, what am I thinking? Okay, I gotta take this. Uh, I lost one, 11 wins, seven, 7 draws. I'm surprised by that move a little bit. But maybe it's a good move. I kind of doubt it. Alright. I mean, he is effectively like up a pawn here. But that damages his pawn structure.
maybe he's like winning there anyway. If I do that, Bishop e7. Bob said a bad word. We should be winning here. So I don't really want to trade here. Maybe I'm like lost, I don't know. That'd be another game I'm really, really sorry about. We had some good positions that shouldn't be lost, that might get lost. Getting more complicated by the minute around here. Just want to stay as active as I can. I'm glad to see the rook there, though. This rook isn't doing much. I need to stop his g-pawn. Try to win his a-pawn. Thanks guys for watching and playing. We got three ongoing. Feels like ten. Somebody's trying to play Bishop B six, it looks like. Could be a serious issue. Kind of a force field. Um, nobody has this. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's pretty weird. <coughs> but with his broken pawns, B5's hanging. Um, not so simple. Should be winning against Laluo. Antonio is angry he was winning, said. E3 check. Okay. So they have to go here. That's another check. Yeah, we're just winning here. Um, that's finished. Kashmari, thank you for the 100 bits. Thanks for playing. Should be six. Brilliant move. Yet another problem for me. From Dimitri. Just one minute and 30 seconds, but he's doing quite well. He's not... Uh, well, he is a pawn up. All right, he is a pawn up. And it's a powerful pawn. We both have powerful pawns. He seems to have some sort of plan or not. He just allowed bishop takes d6. Looks like a blunder. Looks like he actually blundered the game. He might just be lost now. We lost one 13 wins, 7 draws, 2 ongoing. Only 2. Feels like more. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and playing. We'll be back tomorrow Monday with uh, Blitz and Rapid Chess. We lost that I take back. We've had a lot of games where I felt I was in a lot of trouble, um, particularly against S4. That was very scary. Um, Antonio. A few others. He takes E4, but he's dropping a rook here. Plus, I mean, I had that pawn on the sixth rank. I mean, there's nothing for black now. 
it was a really bad position for me at some moment here. We're lucky with this game. The other game is tense against Pichu. That will be, I guess, our last ongoing game. It might be a holdable night ending, even though I'm down a pawn. Um, it looks like our blockade's pretty good. Soltigo resigned. I don't remember that. Now it looks like he's sacrificing that for that trick there, knight d5. So if I play g4, g4 should be like okay, shouldn't it? It should hold. Right, okay, what's going on? Knight c5, this looks really bad. The whole pawn chain goes for black, so Dimitri's gonna lose. Sadly, he had a great game. He had a bad game, then he had a great game, now he has a lost game. That's like, <laughs> really back and forth. Thank you for the great donations tonight, guys. Nils is the chip leader for the week. As the week comes to a close, Nils with 2,700 bits this week. Dim, 2,151. Um, Zenchess, 1545. Guys, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Video Chess Training on YouTube, where I do upload all the streams over there if you want to see a rerun. Um, A3. He's running out of ammunition here. I think I just give him that, you know, running pawn. We're just winning. He's all out of stuff. The other game might be a draw. So it looks like we might only lose one with a bunch of draws. Dimitri resigns. Um, we're down to our last game here against Pichu from my country of, my usual country of residence, Hungary. Tense game. I was better. I was up, I was up a pawn and then like, was I, I was up a pawn and I just dropped it back into this weird ending where I'm actually down a pawn momentarily. But I think it's a draw now. His pawns are all isolated and there's just not enough material left on the board. This is going to be a draw. I don't know if he had something better in this night end game. He's a pretty good player for his rating. Um, someone said, I come in P said, did you consider rook takes e5 against Dimitri? I don't, don't think I saw that move. Don't remember that idea. No nonsense. The original knight trade with Pichu would have worked for you if he went for it. Yeah, I wanted no part in a king upon end game here. Of course. Where he's got like a pass pawn and I have double pawns. I probably just lost. I don't know if he could have forced one. I don't remember allowing a trade of knights. Um... I mean, he could even theoretically lose. Though he shouldn't. There's no reason black should be... There's no real reason black should be worse here. Um, I do have double pawns. It's just not enough left for either side to win, I think. So guys, we're going to be back on Monday. It's going to be Blitz and Rapid Chess, 12 noon tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. Guys and girls, thanks for playing. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting the stream. You can always send a PayPal donation as well. We had one this week from Mr. V. You straight up missed a win. Okay. Um, yeah, we made a lot of mistakes. It's a fast simul, I think, 30-30. Both sides are typically making a lot of mistakes. So it's far from, far from perfect. Um, I feel like I'm playing Blitz games. You guys are playing rapid games, and I'm playing blitz games. <laughs> That's the way it feels to me. Um, the pavilion. That's really strange that you said that. There's there's a funny coincidence about that. Why did you call me the the pavilion? All right, what are we gonna do here? We gonna we gonna get our pawn back first of all, because that is some important stuff. We need that pawn back. Now king and pawn in games could be a different story. Well, they're a very different story. Um, let's say like king f3, king f6, knight check, take take king g5, king takes e5, king takes g4, king d5, king g3, king c5, king takes pawn, king takes pawn, king moves, king moves. I'm actually first there, so I think we can play this. Mm. 
No. Well, actually, okay. King f6, knight e4, check. He goes back. And then I go back. You know, so nobody makes progress. All right, he could play knight e4, knight e4, king e4, king e6. And now it's different, though. I have g5, which just, it's just a disaster for him. Then he actually, <laughs> he actually has, like, king d6. Okay, this move was unexpected. So I have um, knight e4 here. Takes, king takes. That's like a trick, but I don't think anybody's making progress now. We just moved back and forth. If king f6, knight e4, check, he would be forced to take, then I would take, then he would play king e6, then I play g3, then he would play king d6, then I would lose. So I don't want to lose. Um, I don't particularly want to lose. I think this is just a draw. That's our last game for today. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for the last game. Um, but good fights, interesting games. You know, overall, I feel lucky to have only lost one game. We've got a whole bunch of draws. Against S4, I was in trouble. Candela, I was in trouble. Pichu, he was a little lucky. Um, Nefirov, I felt like I was slightly uncomfortable. I was better against Merle. It was a draw. Um, Weiss Monsters was in trouble in a favorite position of mine. Soltigo messed up the opening. Parmenides lost that one out of the opening again. A repeat of a bad variation. We had a nice game against Come in Peace, who played too fast. James resigned. Um, I guess it was kind of premature, but he was down upon maybe losing a second. Easy... Um, Easy winning position at the end against Laluo. We lost that game against Take Back. We dropped a Rook, but it was a scary position. So that was interesting. Um, that was the game we lost. Um, Dimitri, unfortunately, melted down. Against Natalie Louise, another pawn sack. Same variation as last time. It's only good enough for Black to draw. Made against Ignis. Um, Artie Fufkin lost on time in a bad position. Acerbate got made it. He needs some work on this, this variation of the of the um, Czech Benoni. We need to go over that. Uh, equal game against Blue-Eyed Albino. Very solid Queen's Indian. I play that myself. Um, Sledgy Fan resigned a little early in his game, I felt, although maybe he's losing. Um, I guess he kind of ran out of moves. Probably he's losing. His E-Pawn's going to fall. Um, and Morales, I don't know about the final position against him. I felt like my Queen's side majority should be worth something, but but maybe it really is a draw. Um, he was he was all all over me though um, earlier on, and maybe I was lost against Cash Maui. Kind of, I thought he had a good chance and then lost it. Um, Shaquille O'Neal had a bad position that was pretty straightforward. And Nils resigned a little early, but I know he was unhappy with his position. Okay, guys, so that wraps up 23 games, 14 wins, eight draws, one loss. Thank you for playing. Thanks everybody for watching and being part of the stream. Um, enjoy the World Championship this week. We'll add our two cents every day. And, um, yeah. So you did have a night trade with a win, Pichu. I didn't realize that. That's funny why I, I didn't notice that. Um, but I do miss these things. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 12 noon. Thanks for, thanks for playing and watching. And thanks for supporting the stream, guys. Later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Merle Dixon. See you guys later. Take care.